What's up YouTube, Zerudius here with some ASCA tips and tricks. Number one. Running low on fiber? Break down some bark. Chop a young fern with the bark on the ground. Hold R to make fiber. Number two. Make a fishing rod and bait, then fish for yourself. Or you can make a dock and have your villagers gather fish. You need a fishing rod and bait for the villagers also. Currently, you can make bait for mushrooms, berries, and meat. Now you have a fish, all you have to do is cut it with a knife. Oh, you need to stab it. Oh, you stab it again. You need to stab it again. You get raw fish meat. I bet that's what we cook. Number three. You can build a well. Building your base near a water source is a good idea. Using a natural water collector that looks like a flat stone. Number four. Why not build on the beach? It is so pretty. Once you start getting villagers, the gathering buildings have an AOE for gathering. If you build just a little in the woods, you won't waste your first AOE marker that comes with the building. If you go with Tip number three, you should be away from the beach just a little bit. Number five. Eska has a pretty cool feature that allows you to ping gatherable items. This ping can also be used in combat. When you hit Z and send the ping, mobs will highlight red. So it not only helps with plants and stuff. Oh yeah, the big pickaxe is much better. I didn't realize I had it on me. You ain't nothing. Number six. A very awesome quality of life feature. When you are working on a building, you can hit Q to have the mats required show up on the top left side of your screen. If your memory is as bad as mine, this is awesome. To add icing on the cake of awesome, you can pin more than one. Number seven. Not everything you can break down to a smaller level, but there is a lot you can. For example, chop down a young tree. Then you can break that down to long sticks, bark, and sticks. Even further, you can then break down the long sticks into firewood, sticks, and more bark. From tip one, we learn bark is very useful since you can break it down to fiber. Number eight. Aska has a cool eating animation. It is slow though. If you play like me and you're go, 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 just go into your bag and click the food rapidly. It is much faster. Number nine. Now this one is Survival Colony Builder 101. I still see people doing this. Always fill your bag. If you don't need it now, you will later. Number 10. Don't wait to build Odin's Eye. It takes 10 minutes to call a villager. Get to work on this as soon as possible. The villagers can see everything you can and gather it way faster than you can. The villagers also run, not walk between tasks, unlike other games where they move slower than a falling leaf. Bonus. River reed can be broke down into fiber. Once you gather the river reed, then break down the thatch, then into fiber. This is a good early game supply of fiber. If you enjoyed these tips and tricks, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment. And join us as we play ASCA starting June 20th. Chieftains up for the win. What are you eating? Oh 94. It is. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Eat it open. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can go inside. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Yeah, it's got a little bed, thatch bed. And then it's got a little fireplace. Oh.
Well, if it storms again, we have a place to go. Oh, then you can store firewood into the thing next to it. Nice. That's so cool. that's some place to put all this dang wood. Mm-hmm. That's nice. All right, what is all this? Can we share the bed? Oh, look. <laughs> or do we have to have our own? It's an outfit rack. So you can put oh. your outfit on. Oh, okay. Because, yeah, I've got a lot of those right now. Oh, well, yeah. And there's a weapon and tool rack. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, that's pretty neat. That's cool. I like that. I'm sleeping on the bed first. Nee -nee. Yeah. I was hoping you... I shut the door behind me. I was hoping you were following me, but... Nope. I'm sawing some logs. 